Ukraine is intensifying efforts to deploy electronic warfare, EU, systems across more regions, marking it as a top priority for the government in 2024. This strategic move aims to shield crucial infrastructure and key facilities from potential Russian drone and cruise missile attacks. President Volodymyr Zelensky outlined these plans in a recent address, stressing the pivotal role of EU and mobile air defense fire, ADF, groups in defending Ukrainian airspace, particularly in safeguarding soldiers. He highlighted that 359 soldiers have been down this year alone, underlining ongoing efforts to bolster the effectiveness of mobile fire groups and to expand the coverage of electronic warfare defense systems to more Ukrainian territories. Zelensky also pointed out that half of the existing systems are domestically produced in Ukraine, showcasing the nation's self-reliance despite collaborations with foreign partners. In a related announcement, Deputy Prime Minister Mihailo Fedorov unveiled Ukraine's intentions to transition the production of electronic warfare equipment to market-driven conditions. Fedorov expressed a desire to invite entrepreneurs to participate in the production of electronic warfare systems, aiming to stimulate competition for defense ministry contracts. This initiative seeks to replicate the success achieved with drones by fostering market openness and competition. Fedorov also disclosed that the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has already commenced active procurement of electronic warfare equipment. In December of last year, the Defense Ministry greenlit the utilization of new domestic radio electronic warfare complexes tailored to counter UAVs and military operations, marking a significant stride in enhancing Ukraine's defense capabilities against contemporary aerial threats. Additionally, several Western nations, primarily the United Kingdom and Lithuania, have formed a coalition dedicated to supplying numerous UAVs to Ukraine. The coalition has garnered support from countries like the Netherlands and Sweden. Electronic warfare, EU, has emerged as a decisive factor in modern conflicts, significantly influencing outcomes by harnessing the electromagnetic spectrum for offensive and defensive purposes. This multifaceted domain encompasses activities such as disrupting enemy radar and communications, safeguarding one's electronic networks from interference, and gathering intelligence through electronic means. The conflict in Ukraine has particularly highlighted the critical importance of electronic warfare. Both sides have engaged in jamming GPS signals, impacting the guidance systems of drones and precision-guided munitions. The ability to disrupt or disable the enemy's communication and navigation systems can severely impair their operational effectiveness, affecting decision-making and force coordination.